What's up, everybody? Welcome to another video here at Leave the Bubble, where we talk about expanding our comfort zones, dealing with changes, and embracing challenges in life. My name is Phil, and today we're going to talk about priorities and how to simplify our lives. Now, we've all been there, running from one meeting to the next, having a packed agenda, returning to a cluttered house, to an unorganized room, and seeing that, oh my god, my mailbox is full and I have 1,000 unread emails. It's completely normal, it happens to all of us, and honestly, it can be quite daunting sometimes. And it all comes down to a very simple question. Which of all these things, of these multitude of activities and to-dos that I have to do, which ones are the most important ones? How do I prioritize them? And how can I simplify my life? Get rid of the insignificant tasks and focus on the main objectives. Well, it's actually right in the name, and this is the hard part, yet so simple. It's all about prioritizing, finding, and making the hard work of looking out what is the most important thing that I need to get done today and get rid of the time wasters that we all have in our day to day. Unfortunately, it happens way too quickly and way too easily that we fill our days with tasks and events and activities that may seem important, but in reality are not. And here is where true self-constraint comes in. We need to find a structure. So how do I plan out my day? What are the things I need to get done by a certain time? And then if I have some extra time, focus on these little fun activities that usually take a more prioritized position where in fact they should be left towards the end. And don't get me wrong, it's not only about organizing. It's not just, hey, making a structure, I'm going to play Angry Birds from 9.15 to 11.45 and then I'm going to cook a meal and then I'm going to watch Netflix. And then, I mean, yes, this is a very well-structured day, but it's not very productive and you know that you have more important things to do. So in that case, we also need to learn how to detach ourselves from certain activities or like I just mentioned, put them at the end of the day should we have free time left. But this is of course a general concept. Let's talk about certain tangible things that we can do to simplify our lives. One of the most important things is having a clear and neat working and living space. Now it happens way too often, especially for me, I tend to be a little bit more messy than the next person. And yet by simply eliminating things that I don't use, I don't need, and I just have laying there collecting dust, it automatically makes my work or living space a lot more cleaner, a lot more organized and a lot more breathable. Now this can be done, of course, with certain documents, put them in certain binders. This can be done with your clothes, do a wardrobe revamp and see maybe you have pieces of clothing you haven't worn in years. Get rid of them, donate them, sell them, whatever floats your boat. Uh, it really doesn't matter as long as your house and your working space is neat and collected you will see that everything is nicely organized, simple, and you don't have to worry about living in a mess. And trust me, this comes from me. <laughs> now moving on to intangible items, which sometimes are even the most important ones. Uh, let's focus for now on dates and meetings. Now we all know this person that keeps running around from the date with his girlfriend to then meeting his cousins, neighbors, dogs, birthday to then meeting with her grandma and then going back to meet with the buddies for a beer and then go running around for a workout session. I don't know. We all know this person that keeps jumping around, right? And it's very difficult to keep a hold of them because they are never truly present in one single place. And the thing is, these are all important activities as single individual events. We all want to work out. We all want to hang out with our buddies. We all want to spend time with our family and with our partners. However, when we cram everything into a very short time period, it kind of loses this special moment that it could be. And again, this is a mental thing. It's completely fine to miss out on certain events to focus on others. And this is where prioritizing comes in. Do I want to be in five different events in one day just to make a quick appearance and then move on to the next? Or do you want to focus on one event, be truly present, talk with the people, hang out with them, laugh, make some jokes, and just enjoy the entire evening with this special group of people? It really does make a difference when we are talking to someone and we can see that they're truly present, that they're attentively listening to us, that they're looking at us in the eye, and that they're enjoying being there with us. It's uh, not a nice feeling when you have uh, the perception that they are just rushing, looking at their watch. Oh, I have to go. Yeah, yeah, speed it up, speed it up. 
that's not very nice, right? So try to prioritize where and when you want to be in certain places. And well, if you organize your day well, then you can maybe also organize your week so that you can do each thing, but in a different day. And building on this, it's also incredibly important to prioritize our core values and long term objectives. If we have a sidekick going a passion project that's starting to pick up, uh, it's okay to sometimes cut certain events to focus on these ones. It's completely fine to say, hey, you know what, I'll catch you next time the beers are on me. But tonight I have to work on this or tonight I have to work out because I need to lose weight or tonight um, I'm going to spend time with my family instead of hanging out with my bros because I haven't seen them in a while. And lastly, prioritizing our overall presence is a very underrated topic, in my personal opinion. Now, I'm not going to focus on being physically present. We just talked about this a few minutes ago. But also being present in social media is something you need to be very careful about. It's okay to miss out sometimes. And people have this uh, FOMO, fear of missing out, because they aren't up to date on every single activity that your friends are posting on Instagram, on the snap stories of last night's party, or whatever, if you use MySpace or Facebook updates. <laughs> it's okay to focus on yourself and get the work done that needs to be done, to put the cell phone away when you're on your date, to put the cell phone away when you're hanging out with your buddies or with your family. It's okay to leave it at that and not be always, 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 always reaching for your cell phone because then you're never truly present. You're trying to be in different spaces at the same time. So be aware of that. Be mindful because prioritizing your presence as well is super important, not only physically, but also digitally. And remember that while being flexible and going with the flow is a great personal trait to have, which I personally pride myself on. I love doing a lot of things and just seeing how things go and adapting along the way. Not being able to focus on one thing when certain things need to be done, then that's only going to increase your stress levels and decrease your productivity. Plus, chances are that by juggling a lot of different things at the same time, you will never reach a high level of output that maybe you could get when you focus on individual things, whereas you're trying to get a lot of things done at the same time, which will most likely only lead to mediocre results in all of them. Guys, organizing and consequently simplifying our life is a fantastic way to be able to breathe, to relax, to enjoy ourselves and focus on certain people or certain tasks that need to be done. We are bombarded on a daily basis with countless input of information here and there. And if we're not careful, we can easily drown in a sea of distractions. Sometimes less is more and having that sense of urgency to eliminate certain tasks to focus on others will definitely help us to live more freely, more relaxed and more peacefully. I wish you all the best in prioritizing and consequently simplifying your life. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't be afraid to leave your bubble.